ahead and uh, get started with uh, today's presser with uh, Trace. And first question goes to Alex Bozer. You mentioned in your statement that you believe in Coach Woodson's plan. Can you elaborate on what exactly you heard from him in terms of the meetings and, and what that plan uh, is? So basically, me and my dad, um, we had to sit down for about two hours with Coach Woodson yesterday and talked about my future, um, where he believes and sees me in the offense and how he can help develop me into the player that I aspire to be. And with doing so, also winning basketball games here. Um, he came in, he told us that he doesn't want to rebuild. Um, he wants to win right away. And he said that I'm a big piece to that. And so after hearing that and after hearing an NBA uh, coach tell you that, and um, it just really was a simple decision to come back and uh, play for him, honestly. Tom Brew. Trace, we, um, this time last year, we talked a lot about how you wanted to develop uh, more of a, a perimeter game and add, add pieces to your game. Um, obviously, with Joey out this year, you sort of didn't really have the luxury of, of not uh, playing down low all the time. But how much of that plays in the role, too, of just wanting to be able to expand uh, your own skills you know, before you head off to the next level? Uh, most definitely. Um, Joey was a big part of it. Um, just trying to play the role that um, Coach Miller needed me to play. So obviously, I try to do that to my, the best of my abilities. Um, but um, he basically told me that we're going to get your right hand going, and we're going to get that right, and we're going to get your jump shot right. And so um, basically, he wants me basically to shoot those shots in game. If I don't shoot them, he's going to take me out of the game. It's kind of like that. He needs me to be a better player and be a better playmaker. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So. Justin. Yeah, I, I, that was going to be my question, so I guess just sort of elaborate on that. I mean, he, he, he actually told you that he wants you to take jump shots where he's going to take you out of the game. I guess, uh, can you tell us just more about the role he sees for you and how much different it has been from what you've had so far and how important that part was in your decision? Um, I think that that part of my game is going to open up a lot of things for our team, really. Um, teams won't be able to just pack it in. I also believe with... Um, Parker coming back um, and deciding to stay. We already played a few open gyms together, and um, he shoots the ball really well. So the spacing on the floor will be a lot better. I also believe with Joey being healthy, um, it will also give our team a, a much better um, dynamic just because he's so big, and he's also a really good post player. So um, and it enables me to be able to go out and handle the ball and do stuff of that nature. So. Tyler. Trace, the, uh, the word legacy isn't really thrown around until um, like the end of someone's career, but kind of right now, what do, you, what do you want your legacy to be at Indiana? My legacy, I want to get Indiana basketball back on track. And that's my goal. Um, that's why I came back, because I believe in the tra tradition. Um, I believe what we have here is something special, and I want to be one of the reasons why. Um, I don't want to be someone who can't, ran away when it was tough, um, but it was really all in all, it's just I believe in Coach Woodson and I believe in the tradition of Indiana basketball. I know we can get it back. So. Okay, and uh, John Blau, I think it was John Blau. I forget. Somebody else got cut off. It was a great question. I want to hear that answer too. But Trace, I want to ask you this one. Um, it feels like with Parker back, with Blau, uh, with. Uh, with the Parker back, with Joey here, with you back, Woodson's in the fold, and, and people are starting to think, hey, this just might work. It feels like something special is happening here at IU. Is something special? What's the mood like there? Oh, most definitely. Um, <clears throat> I think that the mood here is um, really, 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 really positive. Um, I feel like there's like a light. Um, I feel like we've been in the dark for a while, and um, there wasn't no any energy like there was no energy here I feel like all the life after this season was sucked out of us but um ever since um coach Woodson got hired I feel like it's almost been like a new positive vibe has came um we've been hooping we've been playing some open gyms us and the guys and um really just excited to be playing basketball again and excited to be out there um and just being part of the team and just um just getting work in honestly and then with him just him not being able to really talk to us yet because of all the recruiting stuff but um when he does talk to us i really think that he has the knowledge and knows what he's t like talking about and what he's saying so um 
Um, I think it's really good. I think there's a positive energy here right now, honestly. Hey, Trace, you hear this from people that are not biased, uh, or biased, I'm not biased, but you made the right choice. You could be a 10 year pro. I'm glad you're back. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Yep. Ken Spencer. Ken, Trace, when you went into that meeting with Coach Woodson, what was your mindset? Like, where were you kind of at as far as, you know, were you thinking about entering the NBA? Was it always wanting to go back to school, possibly transferring? Like, what was your mindset going into that meeting? I, when the coaches got fired, um, my mindset was honestly, um, I didn't know who they're going to bring in. I was going to wait anyways, but I was almost dead set on entering the draft and hiring an agent. Um, and then that was probably two weeks ago. And then the hiring of Coach Woodson, I wanted to see what he had to say, um, what he had thoughts of the team, what he had thoughts about me and my development and how he can help me. And so I sat down with him. And we talked a little bit, and I and I really liked him. But my parents were still dead set on me going to the NBA. So I said, how about you come down, Dad, and give him a chance and see what he has to say. And so that's what we did. Um, we had a two-hour conversation. And then my dad came out of the room. He said, give us five minutes. So we left Coach Woodson's office. We went into a little meeting room, and he said, you're staying. And so that's how that went. And so I hope the other guys, uh, my other teammates, get to meet with him and they decide the same thing because I feel like he knows what he's talking about and I know he knows what he's doing and I got 100% faith in him. Yeah. Yeah, Trey, so uh, teammates, um, give us kind of like, uh, I'm guessing you're recruiting them, but tell us kind of what you're doing to your teammates in the portal, what's your pitch to them and, and what's your approach? Obviously, you know, Obviously, with my teammates, um, those are all my brothers. Um, I want what's best for them, first and foremost. Um, I'm going to support their decisions no matter what they choose. But I really feel like with the situation that we have going here, um, Assembly Hall being packed again, having fans back, being just able to play under a new style of offense, um, I really feel like there's no point to leave. I feel like all the necessary tools are right here at our disposal. We got an NBA coach coming in. I mean, what else do you want, if I'm being honest? So that's that's really my pitch. Obviously, they need to do what's best for them, but um, well, I want them here, all of them. Zach? Yeah, Rabbi took mine. He got two, and he's still mine. H. Rabbi, thanks. Alex. Trace, specifically in terms of your development, what uh, did I know you mentioned the jump shot, uh, and you know there's, I guess you you want to be able to be be more right-handed too, I guess, in what you do uh, in your game, but but what specifically? you think you can get better at next season? Almost definitely. I feel like um, with my jump shot, I just have to have the confidence to take it. Um, taking one a game, going 0 for 1 is really hard when you could go 3 for 5. I mean, um, like, that's what I, the way I think about it, really. Um, like against Illinois, I was like 3 for 5, 3 for 6. I mean, it's a lot different shooting 50% from jumpers and when you're just taking one a game. And so just being able to have the confidence to shoot that ball um, and I think that he's going to instill a lot of confidence in me. That's already what he's been telling me. And being able to handle handle the ball um, and be able to go to my right and using that as second nature to my left hand. So I have this as my left hand, and then my right hand is another thing that I can go to. So my left hand's my sure thing. My right hand is, oh, so you took that away. It's just right there. So that's what I need to get my development at. And um, I know that he's going to get that for me. Um, I averaged 19 and 9 this year with strictly using my left hand. So um, being able to just open up my game even more, um, the sky's the limit, really. So. Sort of just keeping on that point, Trace, I guess, what, um, is there anything in particular that, that Coach Woodson said to you that just told you, okay, yes, this, this guy definitely gets it, but whether it was in that first meeting or that second meeting, and what were some of the things that he said that told you, this guy really understands what we need as a team and what I need as a player? Um. The thing that he really told me is the things that I did not want to hear. Um, he told me what I needed to work on. He showed me clips of me playing. He showed me my missed shots, 
what I should have done in this situation, um, where I needed to take shots. And that's all my dad talks about. He talks about the things that I need to improve on. He never talks about what I'm good at. And so that right there was already showing me that he, he already wants what's best for me. And so um, that was already, after he did that, I was sold on him. And I think that's when my, my parents were sold on him as well. So um, just telling him and showing things that I can fix in my game already and showing him, like, basically that you can do so much more. And it's almost like you were, like, just put in, like, you needed a room to blossom almost. So that was probably it. Jim. Jim. Trace, and going off of some of your own comments and coming back, you want some of these these guys back, uh, their positive vibes. The success that you did not achieve this year with these guys that you want back, that you want to play with, talk about the success that you're looking forward to having with them next year on the floor that you guys have not been able to get to these last few years. Most definitely. Um, I feel like our freshman year, my freshman year in general, um, I feel like we were right there, 20 and 12. Um, we were playing in the second round, about to play Penn State, who we just beat. Um, had a chance to make the tournament. I really think we had a really good shot. And then COVID, just putting a damper on everything. And then coming back this next year with a lot of positive vibes, everyone was ready to go, and then Joey gets hurt. And then so that was a big thing that hurt our team. And then about eight or nine games in, Armand gets hurt. And so you, he's out for seven games. He's our second leading scorer. And so um, it really just it really shows that when adversity comes, um, you guys have to you have to stick together. And so a lot of that's what we did. We stuck together. Um, we didn't win games, but at the same time, we had all the pieces, and we were right there in most of the games. It wasn't like we were getting blown out every game. Um, we had a chance to win all of the games that were on our schedule, and then and it just didn't happen. And sometimes it's the way that goes. But uh, coming in this year, um, I feel like with Joey healthy. Some new guys coming in with some of the guys staying. Um, we have a chance to do something really big and something that hasn't been done here in a while. And so that's that's where my head's at right now. Mike, Mike. Yeah, Trace, you mentioned Parker Stewart earlier, and we, we, that's a guy we haven't been able to see much of so far. Could you just expand on what you're seeing from him behind the scenes and what you think he can bring to the team next year? Uh, Parker is a hooper. Um, Parker shoots the ball at a very, very, very high level. And um, I've already seen it. He can shoot it off the dribble. He can shoot spots up, spot up threes. It's he, he puts the ball in the hole. And that's something that we're going to need on our team. And I'm really, really glad that he decided to stay. So um, he's going to space the floor. And um, he's going he's gonna to shoot that thing at a high, high clip. So. Yeah, Trace, you're close with Armand. I know. What's your sense on him right now? I don't know if he's quite decided yet. I know he went in the portal, but uh, mm -hmm. you have a pretty good feeling on his situation, or have you had any discussions? Um, I've talked to him a little bit. Um, I'm trying to give him his space. Um, he needs to make a decision that's best for him, obviously, first and foremost. But um, I want him here, and um, I know I know he's he's iffy. He doesn't know. He's he's a guy that is more about trust. Um, he's not he's not a guy that take the leap of faith, and so he just really wants to see kind of hear what Coach Woodson has to say a little bit more before he makes his decision, and that's fine with me. He can take all the time he needs, but um, I know that I want him here and I want to play with him this next year. So, how important how important would that be for a continuity standpoint in terms of like you guys have been together for two years and it seems like that that's. A there was a little bit of chemistry developing Almost you know, definitely. before he got hurt. Most definitely. Um, me and Armand, I think when we were, we were both playing at a pretty high level, um, there was that stretch where he was averaging like 19 points per game. So um, putting him in a off, uh, faster pace offense with him being able to get the ball and go and transition, um, I think that would really help him. But at the same time, he still has to choose what's right for him. But um, I'm going to be there and I'm going to support him every step of the way if he needs my advice or if he needs me. To help him, I'll, I'll do that. So, how much lastly? You talked a little bit about kind of the different schemes and, and situations that Mike Woodson will kind of bring to the offense this year. Uh -huh. uh, obviously, with the addition of Parker Stewart, Joey Brunk, how good can this team be offensively, and how different can it be from from last year where you guys struggled at times? 
Um, I think last year we struggled at times because we never we never really played up tempo. I feel like when we played up tempo, we were really good, and um, I feel like we we were set oriented too much. Um, we didn't really just get the ball and go. I feel like we were more robotic um, than basketball players, and I feel like Coach Woodson's really going to let let the um, leashes off and let us actually play play our games. And I, I feel like that's going to really help a lot of our teammates, and I think that's really going to help people. Um, like Rob, and um, if Christian comes back, it's going to help people like Christian too, because those guys, those guys can get, go out and flat out score, but they really just didn't get a chance to because we were always running sets, and so um, I think that will help them. But at the same time, Christian needs to do what's best for him, and then Rob coming back, I think he's going to do well in the system. Zach. Zach. I guess I, I wanted to go back to something you were talking about just in terms of visualizing next season and a, the full assembly hall and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just curious, I mean, how much maybe for you, and, and I don't want to ask you to speak for other guys, but yes. how much have you, have you all, guess, I guess, just been able to refresh in the last few weeks? I know it was a yes. very stressful season, a very unusual season, probably a very difficult down, season yeah. from a, a mental standpoint as much as a physical standpoint with testing and yeah. isolating and all those kinds of things. I mean, just... At some level, I guess, does, does the locker room just, just feel like refreshed, not just to the coaching staff, but because you can all visualize something a little bit more like normal next season? Most definitely, um, especially for me. Um, I really just feel like um, I feel like um, – um, wait, my fault. Let me, let me refresh it. So basically – um, with a packed assembly hall, I'm just coming back to a normalization with COVID. Um, bringing in the freshmen, um, they've never experienced that. I'm working with them. Um, it's really going to be special. Um, I feel like college basketball wasn't nearly the same this year um, from my freshman year. Um, there just wasn't really that spark to it. Um, it was really weird. But um, I feel like next year um, with the fans, with Coach Woodson, with the players coming back, whoever decides to come back, with new players coming in, um, transfers. Um, I feel like the season's going to be really special, and um, I really can't wait to be a part of it. So. Okay, okay. I'm going to get Coach, or I'm going to get uh, Trace to a meeting real quick. If you have any other questions, go ahead and text me, and I'll try to get those to you right away. All right, guys, thank you, and appreciate you, your patience. Take care. Bye-bye.